Hey everybody! Happy Friday! We made it to the end of November. It's Friday, November 30th. If you're watching in the replay, thank you and welcome to you. Um, today I've got three new projects featuring the Spirited Snowman from the Holiday Catalog and I'm very excited about them. It's one of my favorite stamp sets in the catalog and I've been trying desperately to wait as, as we get closer to December to use it because um, I wanted to save some of the Christmas stuff for December. Hi Vicki, hi Gwen, my friend Vicki, I had to say hello specifically to you. We met at On Stage and that was very fun. Hi Alessandra and Kathy. How are you guys today and Laura? All right, I am not gonna chit chat a whole bunch today. I um, I feel like these projects are gonna take the better part of an hour. So let me um, pull up my group on my iPad so that I can see your comments better. Um, all right, there we go. All right, so before I flip the camera, uh, let me tell you a few things. I have some big announcements for you today. Um, if you've never watched Facebook Friday before, you know I have a PDF over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, when the video's over, I'll put all these links up in the top, so don't worry about trying to scramble and find them right now. But the PDF is over there. Um, three projects, all the product information, as well as um, product item numbers, prices, and measurements, because you'll need the measurements for all of these today. They're not basic, they're a little more involved. Um, but on the second page are my events for December. And I announced this one yesterday. I'm gonna show you my projects when I flip the camera around. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit more about it in just a second. But this one right here, I have not put on my blog, my newsletter, anything. So you guys are the first ones to hear about it. Stampin' Bingo. Do I have any ladies out there or gentlemen who have participated in my Stampin' Bingo before? I hold it locally twice a year here in San Antonio. It's really fun, but I also do it on Facebook Live as well. So I'm able to access all of you, not just my local people. We play bingo and the winners of each game win product, brand new product. Um, Stampin' Up! products as prizes. And um, I also do lots of little door prizes, but we also stamp, we do four or five projects. Christine, there's Christine, she's done it before um, via Facebook. So, um, and Vicki, Vicki has not done a stamp one though. Oh, Vicki, you would love it, so fun. Um, it's it's just super silly because it's a game and we're playing and we're having fun, but then we get too, so excited because the prizes are stamping up products. Um, so if you're interested in that, it does typically fill up. I um, cap those um, at a specific number because I can only manage so much, just like my retreats to go. Um, so if you're interested, sign up sooner than later. Like I said, I haven't put it on my blog yet, but I will do that probably tomorrow. Um, but if you type in these little URLs right here, this, these will take you directly to the um, registration page and you can register there for either one, the local or the long distance one, okay? Um, I don't even think, yeah, it's not even at the bottom of today's blog post. So if you wanna make sure that you're in on bingo, go click on those links and you'll read all the details, pricing, the dates, all that's there. It's um, right before New Year's Eve. Um, I like to do something kind of fun between Christmas and New Year's and bingo is what we do, okay? Um, okay, so that's that. If you have not done Facebook Live or if you need a refresher, I do three projects on Friday and it's like my, my weekly class and it's free with a purchase. If you put in an online order that's $30 or more between now and Monday at midnight, I'm gonna send you the make and take pack for today's um, project. So all you'll need is the Spirited Snowman stamp set, stamp and blends, we're gonna use stamp and blends today, and um, Memento in Real Red ink. Um, I send you everything else. Everything's die cut for you, scored, embossed if necessary, you get the ribbon, the embellishments, and it all comes to your house. It takes about a week. I cut that off on Mondays at midnight. Anybody who's ordered between right now and Monday at midnight, um, minimum $30 and has used the hostess code, I ship those. I cut them first thing Tuesday morning. I'm very 
structured with my schedule Tuesday morning. They are done by noon, and I sometimes even get them out Tuesday afternoon, but mostly Wednesday. It takes about a week to get to you, um, and with the Christmas uh, shipping, it might take a little bit longer. But you'll have three projects, and these are three gift projects today. So you'll get those free with an order. The host code is right here on the PDF over on my blog, and when I flip the camera down, you'll also see it down there as well. Now, one caveat to that is if your order is over $150, don't use the host code, because then you earn Stampin' Rewards, what we used to call host benefits. Um, starting at $150, you earn $15 in free product, and then it increases as your order increases. And I want you guys to get those free products. I will still send you the free make and takes if you um, put in an order between now and Monday at midnight. The other thing you'll get is the December, well, depending on when your order is, if you order today, it'll be the November. If you order starting tomorrow, it'll be the December. Uh, tutorial bundle, I haven't even printed it out yet. It's thick, lots of um, projects. Where is mine? I will have to show you next week my project. That's in the tutorial bundle. You get that free, it has 12 tutorials in it um, with a $50 order. And those are pretty popular. I think you guys like those. Um, so, several incentives to order. Um, I want you guys to be thinking about Christmas. I know we're all like, okay, Christmas shopping. What can you get here that you can turn into a gift? You know, we all have those people in our life who are super hard to um, shop for. Um, and so sometimes they don't want anything, they don't need anything, but a handmade gift um, is really, really special. I know my dad is one of those. I can never think of anything to get him. Um, and I have made him some things in the past that he really, really liked. So think about that with your crafting. Um, you can use those as a gift. The second thing is Remember, you deserve Christmas gifts too. So if there are things that you want, write them down. Um, send my link or my email to whoever is your Santa, and I am happy to help facilitate that shopping for you. And the third thing is I have gift certificates. Um, if you know somebody, um, or maybe yourself, I actually have already sent one of these to a husband in the mail. Um, if you, want Stampin' Up! for Christmas, but it's a little too complicated um, to kind of, you know, send them the item numbers or whatever. I do gift certificates. They pay me, I send it to them, they give it to you, and then you email me when you're ready to order and I put that order in for you. So, think about that for you, for your mom, for your aunt, for whoever, okay? Okay, I think, oh, should we do prizes? Let's do prizes before I flip the camera. I swore I wasn't gonna talk very much. Okay, it's only been seven minutes. Um, Patricia, I'm upside down. Oh, the words maybe are upside down. When I turn the camera down in the videos coming out the back side of the camera, it won't be upside down. That's why I don't flip it when I'm this way because I want the things down there to be the right way. I hope that's what you're talking about. <laughs> I hope I'm not upside down because I don't know how to fix that. The gift card, the writing, yeah, right? The, the writing is backwards, yeah. I can... It, it's about the camera. When I flip it in a little while, it won't be backwards. But thank you. Okay, prizes. Tuesday, did you guys see Tuesday's project? The ornament, so fun. Um, I offered a prize for sharing that video and our winner is Peggy Bell. Peggy, I know you and I have your mailing address. Peggy is getting the Sincerely Santa. Awesome stamp set. So congratulations, Peggy. Last week, I had two prizes if you shared the video, uh, one for if you shared and one for going over to my blog and entering your information down there at the bottom. Um, and it was the Homemade Kindness stamp set. So the random winner for sharing the video is Tracy Horton. Tracy, I don't think I have your mailing address. And by the way, you guys, if you win a prize, if you email me your address or message me your address, it is so much faster than for me to have to go look it up and I am more likely to mail it quick, more quickly if you message me than if I have to go search for it. I'm also putting a time limit on these. I have some prizes that people have never claimed, so I'm giving them about two or three weeks and if they're not claimed, they're going back in my prize basket, okay? So make sure that you have claimed your prizes. Tracy Horton, if you know her, let her know. 
Um, and then the random winner from my blog is Elaine Gettner, and I know her. She's been a Stamp Club member. So Elaine, I will be sending this to you in the mail. I have your address. This week I've got two things a little bit different. Another Sincerely Santa gift and the completely sold out Santa's Workshop enamel dots. That's gonna be one price. And then I've got this one, I'll Be Home stamp set with the completely sold out Santa's Workshop enamel shapes. I ordered a bunch of these before they went completely out and now I have some. So you guys will be getting them as prizes. Yay, okay. All right, so um, prizes. You can share. You can go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, scroll down to the bottom, enter your information, and you have until next Thursday, Friday morning to do that. When I type up this week's blog post, that's when I go pick winners, okay? I sometimes do it on Thursday night, sometimes I do it on Friday morning, so just do it real quick. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera. It's going to be kind of wonky for just a second, so close your eyes, and you guys, I have... I have the, um, let's see, I'm gonna turn you around. I have the microphone set up today. Um, I don't know if you guys, I know I told you in one of my videos, I had filmed all those videos last week, the clean recordings of these projects, and the microphone wasn't working. So then I had to voice over <laughs> all three videos. It took me all week. They are there now, so now I'm like paranoid when I use the microphone. I think it does improve the quality of the sound, but not if I have to redo everything. Okay, let me make some more room, get some stuff out of the way, and I wanna show you this class. My friend Rhonda Wade and I team up about twice a year to bring you two classes together. And this year, here it is on our PDF, we're calling it the best of 2018. The reason we're calling it that is because we went back, she and I have both been doing Facebook Live every week. We went back and looked through all of our Facebook Live um, projects and picked five of our favorites and then made a new class with them. So my class features the first frost right here, this beautiful, gorgeous bundle from the holiday catalog. Um, it's not really holiday related at all because you guys, these are going to come to you around Christmas, probably the 26th or the 27th. So these are not Christmas classes. We've kind of gone past the point where I can send you Christmas classes in the mail. So th both of our classes are not Christmas. So mine is the first frost, framelits, um, and stamp set, they're beautiful, but the real star of the projects is that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous designer series paper. So my class features two cards that I've cased from myself, um, a nugget slider, a triangle box, and a gift box. Okay, so those are the five projects that you'll get in my first frost class. You're also gonna get an entire pack of that gorgeous paper. So you'll have, um, you'll use some of it on your projects, but then you'll have a ton of it left over to use on whatever. You're also gonna get a bolt of this coordinating um, ruffled ribbon and half a pack of those beautiful, um, oh, they're called enamel drops. Um, so that's what comes in my class. The bundle does not, is not included. So if you want the bundle, you add it on to the class, okay, in both of our classes. Um, we kind of designed these with um, the thought in mind that many of you may have already ordered this and hers too, so the class itself does not include that bundle, okay, but it does include quite a bit of beautiful project uh, product. Her class, let me move it out of the way, and I don't have her projects. I may try to get them made up so I can show them to you next week. It's the little elephant that adorable, you know, the baby elephant we did one time for Facebook Friday, and she's using the Twinkle, Twinkle designer series paper. In her class, same thing, you get a pack of paper, bolt of ribbon, I can't remember, and I think some twine maybe, plus all the make and takes and the PDFs, okay? So those together, here's the URL for those. Um, and I did post these yesterday on my blog. Um, they can ship together. So we, when we do this, oh, and there's something else I wanted to show you that goes with this class. Um, we do these so that you can get two classes shipped um, one time together. And you guys know that when you ship 12 by 12 paper, it's very expensive. We sh have to ship it in a um, medium flat rate box. But this way we can get both classes together, both packs of paper in that box for you. 
Now, if you get both classes, not only are you going to save on shipping, but you're also going to get this for free, this warm-hearted um, hostess set, which will be almost gone by then, okay? Um, and it is a really, really good one. Okay, so that's that. I saw someone just asked me where the bingo registration is. I have not posted it on my blog, but if you type in these URLs, um, you will find it, okay? And I will post it in the next day or so. Okay, let me show you those gift cards, gift certificates, now that they're not upside down. Aren't they super cute? And they can be made for any amount. Just let your, your people know you want one to send me an email, or you email me and let me know you want who you wanna buy one for, okay? All right, today we are doing soup, some super cute projects um, with a spirited snowman. Let's see, where's my other one? Um, this set is open lined, you know, it's good for coloring, but the good thing about the snowman is that they're white, so you don't have to do a whole lot of coloring. Um, it's kind of a fun way to use your blends, but not become overwhelmed, especially if you're mass producing, um, projects. Uh, so here's the other one. Um, here is last week's, um, make and take pack for, oh my gosh, you guys, by the way, we had the most orders for a Facebook Friday ever this last week. Thank you so much to all of you um, for ordering with me during our holiday extravaganza. If you ordered during that time and you got the make and take packet, they either went out yesterday or today. Um, I closed that order real quick yesterday and overnighted the embellishments that I was sending to everyone whose orders were over $100. And I packed those up this morning. Oh, I need to turn the fan off. Um, so be on the lookout now please give it give that shipping some extra time because you guys know the mail is crazy this time of year so it may take a while but this is what the make and take packs look like um, they come ready for you to um, to make three little projects okay and that'll be the same thing this week with these three projects all right well let's get started let's make some room um, this guy is over on my blog, if you missed that, okay? And I also have it linked on today's post. Okay, so our first project is this little treat box. And can you guess what's inside? I don't know, it's very cute. It's actually something I had never seen before. I'm gonna slide this little bow off. Well, I'm gonna slide this little bow off, there we go. And inside are um, Ghirardelli snowmen. Have, are these new, you guys? I have never seen them. This is what they look like. Um, they were over there, you know, with the bags of Ghirardelli chocolates. Um, and they are caramel filling. And they're a little bit smaller, you know, than the, the Ghirardelli squares. But aren't they super cute? So I kind of went off the colors on here, that blue that he has, to design this box. All right? All right, let's make the box First, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to stick my hand over here, try to get everything situated so that I can uh, get everything, so I won't have to keep reaching. I realized I keep reaching under the uh, the camera, and that's not that's not good. Okay, um, let's see, Andres, and, Andres, Alessandra says Target. Yep, Target, that's where I got them. Okay, you're gonna start out with, and here's another caveat, you guys. I designed this with Pacific Point and <laughs> with complete honesty it took me a whole bunch of tries to get this box right and I blew through a whole bunch of cardstock and I didn't have a lot to begin with so for your packets next week you're going to get either Pacific Point or blueberry bushel they're very close in color okay um, just a little caveat for you guys but Pacific Point was what I planned with um, but today I, I um, actually had to cut a different one for the the clean recording of this video, and I used um, blueberry bushel, and it looked just fine. You know what, I'm gonna take this um, grid paper down real quick. They are actually very close in color, and in fact, I kind of liked the blueberry bushel better when I did it with that color. I almost wish I had started with blueberry bushel. Okay, remember, your measurements are over there on your PDF, right here at the bottom. This is a five by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock. We're gonna score the long side at three, three and a half, six and a half, and seven. Turn it and score it at half an inch and 
Oh, you know what? Look, this is what I messed up earlier today. Let me get my paper cutter real quick and cut that. It needs to be five inches, not five and a half. When I was making my video this morning, I was like, wait a minute, something's wrong. Okay, again, this is the five inch side, half an inch and four and a half. It should be right on the PDF. I, I believe I uploaded the correct version, but one never knows. If it's wrong, let me know and I'll fix it. All right, so get your bone folder. And you guys know I generally forget to bring my bone folder over here when I'm making these projects, but it really does make a difference. It really does help make these lines super crisp and stay where they need to be. So I've really been trying to make an effort at pulling it out and making sure it's in the right spot. All right, you've burnished all those lines. Now let me show you, remember when we scored it, um, we have this little part over here, this little short part. That's That little short part is actually the inside and it folds up like that. Then this larger side folds over. We wanna cut the edges off of that uh, front side, okay? So grab your scissors, or you can do this on your paper trimmer if you want it to be really perfect. I'm usually not aiming for perfect. I'm usually aiming for done. <laughs> so my stuff's never perfect, and that's okay. It's more about the candy. Okay, so we've cut those off. Now come over here and cut these little score lines right here. Hi everybody, hi Terry. Thanks so much for joining all of you. Thank you for sharing the video. I am always grateful for that. All right, so there, now this is how it's gonna fold in like this, but before we do that, I'm gonna put a piece of real red DSP on that inside. I don't know if I like the stripes or the polka dots better. We'll go with stripes this time, just like this. All right, now see how that's gonna fold up? Now we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive right here on those squares on the outside of the little squares and on the inside of these little skinny tabs. Now fold that little square up into that side right there like that and then this folds around like that. And that's it. It's just a little, kind of like a little sleeve, a little pocket. It holds them, nothing too complicated. And I felt like one wasn't enough. I kind of like giving, the thought of giving three, it feels a little more um, special, doesn't it? Okay, now before we start with our snowman, we need to cut snowflakes. And what I'm gonna do is use the Blizzard Thinlet by the way, and I meant to specifically point this out, the snowflakes that I used on the other project, you know, the special we've had this month, this is the last day to order it. I completely forgot to post about that. But if you wanted that snowflake showcase stuff, the big snowflake die and all the other ones that go with it, today is the last day to get it. So make sure you order that today. But this, this snowflake, Thinlet, you can see is much different. They are all connected in one framelit, which I kind of like. It kind of keeps things organized and tidy. This is actually called the Blizzard Thinlet, and it is in the holiday catalog. I'm gonna put down, if I can get it out of the drawer, a dryer sheet. Remember, I use dryer sheets from the Dollar Tree. The dryer sheet is gonna hold all those snowflakes onto the dryer sheet and I'm gonna just be able to peel them off when I want to use them, okay? So dryer sheet, um, the, the cardstock, and then the thinlet on the top, and we put that clear plate down. Hi, Cheryl, you love snowflakes? Yep, I do too, although we don't have snowflakes here in South Texas. All right, so see how that came off now? I'll just peel those off as I need them, and I'm actually gonna use snowflakes from this little sheet here on all three projects today. All right, let's see, I on my other one, this was my original project. Let's see, I put several snowflakes inside like that. So let's do that. Let's grab a couple of these snowflakes. You can use your fine tip glue pen 
or you can use, let's do this one, your glue dots like me because I have very little control when it comes to <laughs> liquid glue. I'm not good. All right, there we go, just a few. Now, I'm gonna have to use these in a little while, so let's make sure I don't lose them. If I'm asking where they are, they're right there, guys. <laughs> okay, now, we're gonna do a little flicking of the snow, um, but before, you know what, before we do that, let's put the, the snowy heel. This is a piece of um, sparkle glimmer paper that measures four and four by one and three fourths, and I'm just gonna make a heel and I'm gonna just use my scissors, nothing fancy, just like that, okay? Put some adhesive on the back. Hopefully you guys took advantage of the adhesive sale and stocked up. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna take, let's see, Charlie has to say hello. He's, you know, he can't, he can't let me do a Facebook Live without saying hello. He's been very nervous this week, you guys. I'm, I'll tell you why in a second. I'm covering up everything but the front because I'm gonna get my frost white shimmer paint and I'm gonna do a little flicking of the, flicking of the shimmer. Oh my goodness. One of my bl long blonde hairs is connected. Ah, ah. Mm. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna take the lid and just flick like that. Just a little snow or a lot. <laughs> I can never stop. I want to keep doing it more and more and more. All right. So I just dip that right in there. And then um, really, ideally, I would run to the sink and wash all that off. But I've got this paper towel here. Hopefully, we'll clean it out. Squeeze a little bit of that water. Get that paint off of your aqua painter. Okay. Now, I covered it up so it wouldn't get all over that. We're going to set this over here and let it dry for a few minutes. And let's wipe all this off. I use those dryer sheets. Um, they really hold on to the die cut and just kind of helps really get all the little things out. I'm seeing that the camera's quite blurry, you guys. I think that is a internet issue, but when I upload it later, it will be clear, okay? And these projects will be over on YouTube with individual recordings, okay? Um, in case you're wanting to come back and uh, um, find them. I just logged on. What was a dryer sheet? Uh, Mary, I put a dryer sheet under the paper when I ran this through, and then I pulled the framelit up, and it's all stuck to the dryer sheet. All right, we're using Memento because we are using the blends, and you know when you're using black, your black ink, you got to use Memento, not stays on. Okay. All right, this guy, we're gonna keep it really simple. I'm gonna grab my well. I put all these in here earlier and I thought I would know which ones I needed. I'm gonna use my dark, real red, and I'm gonna just color in his hat. And we're gonna pretend like I have really good vision and I can totally see the segments here in his, <laughs> in his scarf. Do every other one. And then I'm gonna do his shoes, his boots, not gonna get fancy on this at all. You could add a little bit of sh shading here on the bottom of his heel if you wanted to, and then do a color lifter on his toe to make a shine, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do this real quick. A crumb cake dark for his arms. We're gonna do this all three projects. You're gonna see me use these exact same colors three times. And then for his nose, of course, oh, Wrong end. Of course, we're going to use pumpkin pie. And then I decided he needs a little more dimension. So I'm gonna take my pool party light and very lightly, I'm gonna go around, kind of in a C shape on each section of his body on the left side. So we're creating some shadows over on the left side of his body. This is gonna kind of give him more depth make him pop off the paper a little bit more and just give him a little more interest. All right, there he is. So cute. 
Now get your scissors, your small, sharp, pointy scissors and fussy cut him. No framelit for this guy, but if you just get some really good scissors and follow along the outside of the black line, you will have him cut out in no time. I think he's worth the fussy, the fussy cut. See, in that scarf, I'm not really gonna cut all the individual little tassels. Why is that not coming out? I am just gonna leave it because again, nobody's gonna be studying your project when you give it to them. They're going to rip it open and eat the candy, right? All right, so stay on the outside of that black line. I'm not doing a very good job today because the eye will only see that black line and they will not see all your little jig jaggedy cuts and cut off the extra cardstock as you go. Now, like I mentioned, um, hopefully this evening, I will have all the clean recordings up on YouTube. I have actually already edited them and uploaded them to YouTube this morning. And so they are ready. I know that the microphone worked this week and um, I just need to go and like put the title and the links and stuff in and then they will be up for you. So if you wanna come back and watch the project without all the Facebook Live busyness, they will be there for you. All right, there we go. Super cute, worth the fussy cut. And we're going to stamp Winter Cheer. Um, this, this stamp set, one of the things I noticed right away was that it did not have Christmas sentiments. You'll see today when I'm stamping. None of them really are Christmas. Um, so this stamp set, uh, you know, I, I make this project with the intention of it being a Christmas treat, but it really could be, you know, a January treat um, or a winter treat. All right, let's bring this back over. I stamped that on a label from, let me, or a banner label from, let me make sure I look, the Night Owl Framelits. Okay, so that's where that's from. If you don't have those, just use whatever or just do a rectangle or buy the Night Owl Framelits because I use this, this framelit from that collection a lot. So I put it there and just cut off half of it. Let's get some dimensionals and put our cute little spirited snowman jumping up in the snow. And there we go. How many of you watching have snow right now? Oh look, I didn't finish fussy cutting that part and I don't like the way that looks. Um, I know there's a big storm coming. I'm a, I'm a, if you don't know me very well, I am a news junkie specifically weather news. I love to watch the news, you guys. Always have been like that, and my 11-year-old is kind of the same way. Um, so what am I doing? I need to get some snowflakes. Um, I'm gonna use the small snowflakes this time for the front. Let's see, just the little ones. So I like to watch the weather. I like to watch um, when there's weather events like today. If you haven't been watching, there's a big earthquake in Alaska. So of course I was oh, watching that very in, intently while I was getting ready for today. I just, I know my, and my husband wants to throw up when the news is on. He's like, oh, so poor thing. But he wants to watch sports for 24 hours a day, which, you know, so luckily we have more than one TV. Anyways, if you have snow, I'm jealous. We're hot here today, high of 80. I don't like it, it's humid and muggy. We have um, a Christmas party to go to this weekend and it's out of town. We have an overnight babysitter coming to stay with the kids. I'm very excited, but I'm like, I, whoops, I guess I will be wearing shorts, which is not very Christmassy. All right, so this is the 1 8 inch, they call it solid red ribbon in the annual catalog, but I think it's taffeta. I think that's what it is. And I am tying that around the box to keep it closed. And that's it. So cute, you guys, I love it. I hope you love it. It's very cute, and this one is there, but it doesn't have the bow. What do you guys think? Pretty easy, right? The only tricky part probably is that fussy cutting. I don't know, I think it's worth it. I definitely think it's worth it. I don't mind fussy cutting, and I know a lot of you don't mind it either. All right, so let me make some room, and we will do project number two. Now, project number two, 
is a fancy fold card. And again, with a cardstock, the color might be Pacific Points when you get it, and it might be Blueberry Bushel. I don't know. You'll just have to see when you get it if you order this week. I promise both will work. Okay, I'm not going to take the time to put that back on. Um, this card was inspired by one of my downline. I'm calling it the Faux Snow Globe. Can you see that? It's sparkly. Um, my downline, Wendy, sent a swap card for our swaps in November where she had stamped one of the snowmen on the sparkle glimmer paper. And then she colored it with the blends. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do that. That is brilliant. I would never have thought to do that. So that's what I did here. I made a little snow globe fancy fold card, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get that one made. Um, what do we wanna start with? Let's go ahead and start with our snowman, our snow couple, they're so sweet. Um, I am again using Memento. I probably, if I wasn't coloring them, I would probably say use stays on, but we're using our blends. So we're gonna stick with the Memento. You can see it's a little bit lighter, but that's okay. And we're gonna do some coloring. Now, um, like I said, the cardstock that I started with, I need to get my chair, because I cannot stand and color very well. Um, the cardstock I started with was Pacific Point in the first project based on the little wrapper, right? The little um, color on the chocolate wrapper. So I wanted to stick with that um, throughout the projects. And when I went to color these guys, um, I thought, okay, well, we don't have Pacific Point stamp and blend. What can I use? And so I grabbed the light Night of Navy stamp and blend, and it's a perfect match. It looks so good. So that's what I'm using here for their scarves. And I'm just lightly kind of flicking my marker. You would definitely not color the same way you would on regular paper. And I can already hear, and I haven't even looked at the comments, but I know someone is saying, isn't that going to ruin your Stampin' Blend? Oh, somebody said it, yep. You know, if you did this a hundred times, probably, um, but the Stampin' Blends, if you used them a hundred times anyway, they're not going to last, you know, they eventually, um, wear out. So I think maybe. However, the, this is the third time I have done this and um, I have not noticed any difference in my stamp and blends. Not a problem. And I'm not like, you know, coloring like that. I'm just kind of flicking that color on there. And uh, it works really well. That was my first thought too, honestly. Um, oh my gosh, how does that work? How are you going to color on there with Stampin' Blends? But it works perfectly. Just do a little flicking and, I mean, nothing. No problem on that marker. All right, so that was real red. I'm going to do his, his carrot nose over here. Then we're going to use a smoky slate. I know, Cindy, I'm a mind reader. I could hear it. I could hear it in my head. People were gasping as they watched me. Oh my gosh. But you know what? This is a $4 marker, which, you know, there are other alcohol markers that are way more expensive. And a $4 marker isn't necessarily, oops, that's not the color I wanted for that. Um, isn't necessarily designed to last eternity. You know, um, I have had my blend since they came out and I have, um, already replaced maybe two of them, which isn't very many. Um, but uh, at $4.50, I don't really mind. All right, now, so I used Old Olive there for the holly on her hat. And I'm gonna go around here again with that light Knight of Navy. It's really interesting the colors um, when you use like the light or the dark. Um, how they are a different color, but then when you put them together, they end up being that color, you know, like Night of Navy. Um, but uh, this one, and, and the, the light real red is very pink also, 
Um, those of you that have played with blends know what I'm talking about. It's interesting to see how they come out. All right, I'm gonna add some of that pool party again here for some shadow. I love this little stamp, so cute. And down here as well. You know, if I, th I think if you made your Christmas cards like this, you would probably, you know, if you were making a bunch of them, that probably would put some wear and tear on your blends. But if you're making a couple here and there, I don't think it's a problem. All right, let's cut it out with a circle framelit. Um, these are just the layering framelits. I'm gonna use the largest circle. And I'm gonna cut that out. And while I have my big shot here, I'm gonna make the outside, this part right here for of our snow globe. So, grab your um, silver foil. And, uh-oh, I'm out of the screen. There's the big one. Then get the two sizes down. Okay, not the, the, the exactly the next one in the size, but two down. And put it like that, and you'll make a little frame for your snow globe. There we go, set that there. Then while we have the big shot over here, let's emboss. So I'm gonna have to take my magnetic platform out and put my regular Big Shot platform. I am using the Softly Falling Embossing Folder. It is looks like snow, so of course it's the perfect one. Karen, um, yes, she's saying they've made changes to the glitter paper, right, so it might not be as bad as the older version. It is still gritty, like glitter, um, but it's the paper itself is thinner and the back is less slick so that it will actually stick to adhesive. Um, you know, I haven't, I have heard some people specifically say, that's beautiful, isn't it? That they think it's so different and I don't really think the texture of it is so different. Maybe some of you on here can chime in if you've gotten the new um, glimmer paper, what you think compared to the old glimmer paper. Um, I still have quite a bit of the old stuff around. I've still been using it to use it up. But, I mean, I have noticed that it's thinner and that it sticks better. I definitely like that. But I think gritty-wise, yeah, I think it's the same. All right, I need to stop talking and focus on what I'm doing so that I can do this. You know, I cut these other pieces. This one's a wrong size. I'm gonna have to cut another one of those. Um, what am I looking for? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make the snow globe. I got distracted. Little piece of silver foil that I'm gonna put in here and punch. I'm gonna round two of those corners like that. Get my scissors and just ever so lightly kind of cut that at an angle. Not drastically, but I wanted it to go in a little bit, okay? And that is the bottom part right there. So I'm gonna attach this with Fast Fuse. And you can cut this out right here, or you can cover it with a bow. See how I cut that out? Or you can lay it in and cut it with a circle framelit. But the bow's gonna cover it anyway. All right, let's stamp. Now here's the second. Um... Oh, Kim, yeah, that's true. Kim is saying the new glimmer paper doesn't shed the way the old glimmer paper. You know, like if you ran it through the big shot, you'd have glitter everywhere. You're right. That is a very good point that I did not mention. It doesn't leave glitter. Darcy, you're saying the same thing too. Yeah, it doesn't leave um, glitter everywhere, which is nice. It holds on to its glitter. All right, now let's get some mini dimensionals. And we're gonna attach this. And Mary says the new glitter paper cuts better. Yeah. I would say that too because it's thinner than the old gl glimmer glitter paper. All right, now my red ribbon right here. This is the real red cotton ribbon from the annual catalog. And I'm just gonna make a bow and it's gonna cover up that, you know, that little space there. I'm gonna attach that with a glue dot. If I can find one, I need to trim off my glue dots. 
grab my little scissors and right there. All right, so there's our little snow globe. Now we're gonna get one of our little snowflakes that we cut from the last project. I like this one right here. And put that on with a glue dot. Do you guys use glue dots as much as I do? <laughs> I use them a lot, I love them. Right there. And then I'm gonna use a frosted or a clear, one of the other epoxy drops. They come in the same package. I like them. These are what is, are included in that um, class that I'm offering, the frosted florals. All right, so there is our snow globe and it's gonna go right over that, but we've gotta make our card base first. Love never melts. Isn't that adorable? So cute. All right, let me make room for my, my uh, Simply Scored. Hopefully some of you took advantage of the Simply Scored that was on sale during the tool sale. Oh my gosh, couldn't believe it. Now this, because it's a fancy fold, you're not gonna get an entire, you're not gonna get two cards out of a regular piece of cardstock like we usually do. You're going to need to cut it five and a half by 11. So you're only gonna get one card out of one piece of cardstock, okay? Um, so we're gonna take the long side and score at three and three eighths and seven and five eighths. And I hope that, because I had a typo, I hope that I did that right. <laughs> I had to fix it earlier. Okay, and then turn it and do two inches. And then we want, we're gonna stop at that horizontal line. We don't want it to go here. You know, actually, now that I think about it, you really could because we're gonna cover that up. But anyways, I'll do it the, the way I originally did it. We need to continue that line down here. So flip it over and just do the two inch on that side, okay? I know, I'm changing things as I go. Now, you probably wanna do this with your paper trimmer because you'll get a much straighter line. Hi, Trisha. Um, <laughs> and then get your trimmer or your scissors and just cut these squares out right here. These are great scrap pieces, don't throw these away, save these. This would cut out a great circle or a scallop or an oval or something. So throw those in with your scraps. All right, so cut that off. There we go. Now that softly falling piece right here is gonna go on the inside and this, is, this was just a four by five and a fourth piece of Whisper White and see how these fold over. And I do believe that I cut one of these correctly and one of these wrong and I meant to get, I meant to fix that, but we're just gonna go with it. We'll put the correct one on the outside. Three and a fourth by one and three fourths is the measurement of this DSP. And that one is a little wonky, let me fix it. There we go. And we're gonna pretend like this one is the correct size, which would be exactly the same as the other one. <laughs> okay, so that's how it is, a little gate here at the bottom. Now I'm gonna take my empty snow globe and I'm gonna put some adhesive here on the base and I'm gonna center it right. I wanna get this part, the bottom here, towards the bottom of the the little arm because we're gonna put the other circle behind it. We need it to be able to see through that like that, okay? So let me just put a little bit there so I can see exactly where it needs to go. Right there and then I will, ah, let me double check. Okay, and then I push that down on the adhesive and there you have it. So cute. Um, the other thing I did in my original is I cut uh, pieces of Whisper White right here. So the same as the DSP, which is one and three fourths by three and a fourth. You could do white right here and you could stamp some, another sentiment or write something. Fun, right? I love that. And Wendy, my downline, thank you for inspiring me to make, um, to stamp on my glitter paper. I love it. Really, really cool. Okay, we've got one more project. Let me clean off my space here. And let's see, do I need this, um, this one? Okay, the next one is funny and I hate saying the word, but we are gonna make a snowman poop holder. I hate that word, you guys, but any kind of, any kind of 
treat that you call poop is insanely popular. At my craft fairs, any kind of turkey poop or snowman poop or reindeer poop would sell out immediately. I don't know why. And my friend Rhonda Wade is the original designer of this really, really cool um, holder. You'll see it's insanely simple. And she did it and she was saying that it was one of her most viewed videos. And we were laughing that how popular anything you call poop is. So that's what it is, even though I detest the word. So that's what we're making here. And let me show you, you can kind of see it design, uh, how it's uh, folded here, but let me open it and show you. Inside, you can do marshmallows or you can actually make what is called snowman poop. And it is a recipe that I have linked over on my blog. It's three ingredients. It's Honey Nut Cheerios. It's the white almond bark, um, you know, the stuff that you melt. And then um, a cake mix, a funfetti cake mix. and. The recipe says to do it in the crock pot, but I thought that was kind of silly because all you need to do is heat that almond bark in the microwave for a minute, minute and a half. It melts. You stir it around the Cheerios and then you dump in that cake mix and stir it around. It kind of coats it in like a powdered sugar thing. And that's it. And you can see there's these little, um, because it's a funfetti cake mix, it has little sprinkles and some of them even look like snowman noses. I just thought it was so funny and so cute. And so we made it this week. Uh, my girls loved it. It's already all gone except for these three little packets here. Um, but they really liked the snowman poop. I know, y'all are laughing. I know, I don't like that word. Ugh, gross. <laughs> okay, let's make it. Even though, you know, if you brought these into a classroom full of first graders, or second graders, or middle schoolers, and told them you made them snowman poop, they would lose their minds. They would be so excited. They would go crazy. All right, let's, um, let's make the little holder first. So um, all this is, I mean, this is kind of almost like I feel like it's cheating because it's so easy. <laughs> Nicole, you agree with me? I know. I've said it way too many times. Um, this is a three by 12, and let me make sure I get the name right, because I always forget the name of this paper, Mary Mistletoe Designer Series Paper. It's in the annual catalog. Um, and you can get four of these out of one sheet, and the package has um, two sheets in it, so you could get eight, but, but you could use any print, really, because they all coordinate. So what I'm gonna do is I put the snack, <laughs> in a three by six cello bag. Um, we carry the three by six gusseted cello bags. And then you get some tear and tape. And you just put some tear and tape here on the bag. You know, if you needed to make something for kids, this will be a good one because it's not gonna require a whole lot of uh, work on your part. And when you see them tearing them and throwing them on the ground after they get their snack out, you won't feel so bad because it, it's so easy. Oh, this tear and tape. There we go. Um, really, you are not scoring or anything. The, the most work that th this has in it is coloring the little snowman. And this, you know, this would actually be a good project to make with kids too, in fact, because they could color the little snowman. All right, so I've put adhesive there, uh, tear and tape. I sealed it with washi tape, and I'm just gonna set it right there in the middle of the paper. That's it, that's it. Now watch, fold it and you are done. <laughs> I mean, it feels like cheating. I also like to just kind of give it a little pinch down here to kind of keep it around the cello bag because every time you fold the cello bag, it's gonna be a little bit different depending on how much you put in there. Okay, that's it. I mean, really super easy. So take that same ribbon we used on the last project, the real red cotton ribbon and Let's tie it in a bow. I know, it's Kathy, it's so cute. This, and you know what, thank you, Elizabeth, I appreciate that. Um, hey, Elizabeth, by the way, you won a prize last week. You need to message me your, um, your address. I just saw it when I pulled out my Facebook Friday stuff from last week. Email me or message me your address, Elizabeth Merkel, okay? All right. Um, and I and I do have to say, Rhonda Wade, my friend Rhonda, was the original designer of this uber simple little treat holder, okay? I can't take full credit. All right, so let's quickly 
stamp. The, there's three snowmen in the stamp set. This one is the third one. He's the ice skating snowman. He's the one we used on Tuesday. And I, again, with Memento Black, and I am stamping him on um, a two and five eighths. Okay, hold on, I have to get my head right above this. Two and five eighths thick whisper white square. Oh, I did it again, perfect. Um, in the video this morning, I was laughing that I actually got that on there. I cut the square ahead of time just for the sake of the video, just to you know have it done. Um, it's kind of hard because it is exactly the right height of the snowman. Um, so if I were you, um, I would stamp it on a bigger piece and then cut it down to two and five eighths because it is hard to line, to get it exactly in between those, those edges. All right, real red, dark. I'm gonna color in all those buttons and his hat. And then I'm gonna get, um, you know, I don't know if I use the light real red or lovely lipstick, which is what I put in the, in the description. Um, we'll go with lovely lipstick because it's pink, but like I had mentioned to you, the light real red is very pink. So I think I might have just used light real red, but we'll do lovely lipstick. Now we're gonna color in the whole scarf first with the lovely lipstick. Come up here and color in that second line on his, his or her hat. Then go back with your real red dark and do every other little chevron mark. Oh my gosh, my eyes are going cross here. You guys, somebody, one of you said I need to go get the readers from the grocery store, and I know, but I don't know, which ones do you buy? How do you know which readers you need? All right, let's do the, the little um, skates. I keep wanting to call them roller skates, but they are ice skates. And let's see, um, let's get Smoky Slate and color in that blade right there on his skates. And then his nose is pumpkin pie. My daughter should be home shortly. They had the bike rodeo today. So bike rodeo, if you don't know, is a day where they take their bikes to school and the police officers come to school and they all do the like, this little competition during PE. It's not, I mean, I guess it's a competition, but basically they're um, checking their bikes for safety. They check their helmets, they check their, you know, brakes, do they have lights, do they have reflectors? And then they do this little, they have to ride real slow between two lines, they have to go around in a circle. It's a whole little thing and <laughs> they love it. Um, but, uh, she has bike rodeo today and she has a new bike and she was so excited. So she's riding home today. I don't have to go pick her up. We don't live very far from the school. All right, so what I'm doing here is finishing up. I colored it just the same with that pool party. Um, I'm adding Wink of Stella and I could get crazy and add Wink of Stella everywhere, but I'm gonna refrain. And now we're going to adhere onto a let me look at my measurements. Two and three fourths inch powder pink cardstock square. And then we've got a scalloped, real red scalloped square that was cut with the largest scalloped square, layering square. Um, and then I'm gonna put that right there with dimensionals like that. And then we're gonna, actually before we do that, let's get another snowflake. I'm going to get like that middle sized one like that. Donna, I'm reading. You read on them. They are, if you can read with them on. Well, I feel like if I put them on, I don't know. I Maybe I just need to buy a few because it's not like when I'm standing in the store, I feel like I don't have a problem reading. Okay. I'll, I'll try. I'll, cause they have really cheap ones. Maybe I'll just get two or three and try. <laughs> Thank you for the eye doctor um, help. I don't know. All right, last sentiment in this that I'm using says your friendship means, no, I can't read it upside down. <laughs> Hold on, let me stamp it. Means the world warms my heart. Yeah, your friendship, oh, and it's crooked. Your friendship warms my heart. 
I haven't put my stickers on my stamps, so I don't know what I'm stamping. Our new cling mount stamps that come out in the Occasions catalog in January are going to solve that problem. They are super sticky and I will be putting the stickers on my stamps. All right, so I just cut that down with my scissors, just a rectangle and I am putting it right there. And then, oh no, where's our heart? I had cut out this teeny tiny sweet little heart and it, oh, here it is. This teeny tiny baby heart is from the Stitch Labels framelits. I forget about this cute heart and I saw it the other day and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to use that again. It's so cute. And we're going to put that, did I get it? Yep. We're going to put that right there on that snowflake and then bring that Wink of Stella back and make that a glittery, shimmery heart. And let's put it on. I'm not going to say the word again. We're going to put it on our snack holder, our snowman poop. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, so I'm just putting those dimensionals on one side so that when we open it up and I flip up the top, that'll be stuck there. There it is, you guys. Easy. Those would make great classroom favors if you take favors to school with your kids. Look, you're just folding that cardstock, I mean that paper up, and uh, no scoring, not a lot of fussy fussiness. Easy super easy fine you can find that recipe over that one actually has marshmallows in it find that recipe for the actual snowman poop over on my blog today i linked it right under the picture of this project okay i just found it on pinterest um really easy and like i said you don't have to use a crock pot just melt it melt that white almond bark there in the microwave unless you like to use the crock pot all right, let's review, let's look. Here are four ideas for you to use your Spirited Snowman. Hopefully you have ordered the set. If not, now's the time. And don't forget to use this host code right here. If you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, I will send you all four make and takes for free. Thanks, you guys. Don't forget to share the video and to go over to my blog and enter to the give in the giveaway over there. Next week's projects, Next week's entire week, the entire week, I'm going to be focusing on candy cane season. The candy cane stamp with a punch. That's another one I have been refraining from using, and now I'm madly in love with it. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. I will see you next Tuesday, actually. Tuesday afternoon at 2, all right? And then Friday as well. Have a great weekend. Bye.